All right, well, hey, everybody, and welcome to World Warships. And uh, here I am driving my Farragut, the Tier 6 American Destroyer. And, uh, and um, uh, uh, anyway, we're, uh, we're on the straight map, which I kind of like for destroyers. It's, and the, uh, the, the matchmaking is actually pretty good as well. But uh, anyway... Uh, this is the very first match I played in the Farragut, and uh, when I was uh, in the port after I bought it, I went ahead and used some free XP, and I went up to the B-hole, and also got the uh, longer-range torpedoes. I think there's seven and a half, uh, or sorry, six and a half click torpedoes. And um, so anyway, this is uh, those are the first shots I fired. And I'm like, well, okay, yeah, they go down range pretty quick, pretty good range, um, reasonably accurate. Although I've got the um, the fast reload. Um, uh, upgrade rather than the uh, accuracy upgrade, and uh, they don't do a lot of damage. But with the fast leap reload upgrade, I'm I can fire. I think my my reload time is like four and a half seconds, so I can really spam the ammo. Uh, I can really put the ammo uh, shots down range really really fast. So uh, first thing I'm doing is I'm working on this Oma here, and. Um, uh, he's coming into range, but, uh, you know, destroyer guns, they, they got a bit of an arc on him. I, I, I will say that is an issue, but uh, he's coming towards me, so I'm going to go ahead and put some torps in the water. And, um, and again, I have, uh, I have the advantage here that I can fire really, really fast. I'm not sure who he's shooting at. I think it's that cruiser right in front of me. So I switch over, because of the range here, uh, it's coming down short, I switch over to uh, armor piercing. And um, I'm doing that because at this range against these lower tier cruisers, yeah, there you go. I can certainly get a Citadel hit, and then one of my Torps hits as well. Uh, so he's going to be hurting if he's not already. And I can, like I said, I'm basically at this point spamming the AP at him. And another Citadel hit. So, uh, finished him off pretty well. Uh, I did stop just so I could, you know, back up. And, uh, yeah, that's right. It activated my smoke. So, I'm sitting here in the smoke. And I'm trying to get eyes on, uh, you know, basically anything I can shoot. So, a couple of shots uh, hit the enemy. I'm not sure what that was. I think it was an enemy Farragut. And um, now I'm putting out some long-range fire at the Fuso out here. And the idea is just to sit in the smoke here. And as long as the smoke is going to stay up to just blaze away, you know, do as much little bug bite damage as I can. Maybe set a fire or two. You know, do everything I can. Okay, so uh, at this point I'm thinking, alright, my smoke's starting to, uh, yep, there it goes. Fade away. And uh, I've got some enemy dive bombers right above me. And I think I'm about to take, you know... Yeah, I took a hit from one. All right, good shot on the carrier. And uh, now I got this Kirov over here, so just gonna drop some, drop a couple, drop a wall of torps at him. Uh, can he, he? I mean, he should be able to dodge this if he if he gives it a shot. So, but as it is, I'm just gonna put the put the rounds down range. Use this thing like a little gunboat. Kirov is tier 6, right? No, tier 5, okay. Um, and, you know, I'm pretty accurate at this range. Uh, you could make the argument that I should have switched over to AP, like I did on the Omaha, but uh, it, it was a still it was still a... Uh, um, it's still a... Uh, you, you know, it's kind of a heat-of-the-moment thing, making my decision on that. So, I wasn't able... I wasn't really thinking as strategically as, uh, uh, as I probably could have or should have. So, anyway, uh, the other Kirov is coming in, and I got a couple of battleships backing me up. And he's maneuvering as best he can, but he's got, again, two battleships, and he's got me just blasting away at him. So, we're gonna... We're gonna work, work the guy over. Now, he's gonna start shooting at me here in a little bit. And it's a it's an interesting question whether or not he's making the right tactical decision. Um, I would say probably because if he 
you know, lands a good salvo or two on me, then he's going to get the, um, he's going to get a kill, take an enemy ship down with him. Okay, another kill. So, certainly a, you know, certainly an interesting call. Now, New Mexico hiding behind the island over there. And uh, again, it's a case of just let's let's just blaze away at this guy. And ooh, it looks like one of our battleships got a citadel on him. Nice shot. Um, but he's uh, he's playing sneak and peek around the island over here. So I'm at this point. I was just thinking, all right, I need to go ahead and just blaze away at this guy. Shoot him with everything I can. Whittle him down. Set some fires. And oh crap! Here comes the dive bombers again. All right. So just let's maneuver. And a another good drop by the uh, enemy carrier captain. So my smoke's back up, but I don't really need it because I'm watching the guys' guns, and they're not pointed at me. Or if they. Uh, if they are, it's the rear guns that are pointed at me, and he doesn't, uh, the island's blocking his shot. But as you can see, my shots are going into, uh, low earth orbit, and I'm able to just, just blaze away, so. Now, I should have been maybe paying a little more attention tactically, and to my aim as well, because I should have, instead of shooting center mass here, I should have been, uh, kind of trying to work him around, and work my shots around and you know hit various parts of the ship and if I'd been paying a little bit more attention I might have also been able to sneak an accurate torpedo shot in a little earlier and caught him as he uh, as he came out so anyway as it is um, I'm trying to just set some fires here and I don't at this point I'm thinking I don't didn't really want to close with him uh, because I was worried about those rear guns pointing at me but you can see I'm just not sure you know what he's paying attention to, and I think it's a friendly battleship I have up to the north, and with that, I mean, hindsight and all that, but with that, um, I think the right play at this time probably would have been to turn to starboard and just get in and close in and dump some torpedoes on him, uh, and that would have taken him down a lot quicker, uh, would have, um, uh, you know, maybe save some health for the off the friendly battleship uh, you know just just don't know hard to say so drop more torps I mean he's using the island really well for, for cover against me but again I've got the speed I could certainly run around and and just you know get it right up close in his face drop torps he's not gonna be able to do anything about it granted I would take some damage from his secondaries but yeah, so, anyway, I'm looking at the map. Ah, good, another fire set. But anyway, I'm looking at the mini-map. Oh, crap, here come more dive bombers. Okay. Uh, this time, this time I'm, I'm kind of wishing I had the Nicholas. Ah, I did get the kill. And uh, that time I managed to dodge the um, uh, the drop, uh, the bomb drop. Um, but this, right now I was kind of wishing I had the Nicholas's uh, anti-aircraft. It's a bit more effective, or at least it seemed to be a bit more effective. Uh, I, I'm blazing away at these fighters, and the carrier is doing absolutely the right thing by keeping his fighters over me and keeping me lit. Uh, I, again, even though I'm just, you know, blazing away at them, uh, eventually I might kill one, but um, uh, he's keeping me spotted. That's the important thing. So. Uh, when it comes to a destroyer, if you can, if you're a carrier and you, and you don't have anything better for your fighters to do, this is what you should do, basically. Um, so, now, um, thinking about what's going on in the match, you know, I was just thinking, okay, I need to turn right and hit up to B and capture that. When this, uh, with this friendly mer, well, uh, a wild mermansk appears, so time to, you know, open up, start blazing away again, and again, like I said, I'm already spotted by the, uh, uh, by the enemy fighter, so it's, I don't lose anything by, 
you know, shooting, shooting, uh, you know, putting rounds down range. Although in this particular case, the um, accuracy of my fire is, of course, limited by the gun arc and the shell travel time, and the Murmansk's uh, general speed and maneuverability. So he's popped out of view. Oh, there he goes. He pops back in. His first set of shots are around behind me. Okay, I pretty much need to think about closing the range. Ooh. Ah, a couple of good hits. All right, not too bad, though. And, um, you know, my shots are not quite doing it, but I'm getting a little closer. And I dodge his first set, and there's that enemy independence, and good on him for everything he's he's done so far. And, uh, so... You could make the argument that that enemy, enemy and well, let's let, we'll come back to that. Okay, so Murmansk is down to just a sliver of health. I put some shots out and got him. All right, five kills. Uh, the Kraken is unleashed. Now the thing is, I popped smoke because I was worried about that Murmansk working me over. And the Murmansk is a dangerous opponent for for dis against a destroyer. So the question is, was it the right thing to do at the time? And I think it is. <laughs> I think it was. But, uh, again, did I, did I waste it? Uh, I mean, I'm using a one-skill captain here. The only skill I have on this captain right now is... Um, uh, is, you know, situational awareness or whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever it's called. Um, Sixth Sense equivalent? I don't know. But anyway, uh, I line the, sh the, the independence up for some shots, and I get a couple of good shots out early, and he gets his dive bombers off again. And um, at this point, I need to get as much fire onto this aircraft carrier as I possibly can. Okay, so I... Uh, uh, somebody sets a fire on him. I'm pretty sure it was our Nuremberg. And the Nuremberg for, is, is running in really, really, really super close. And he's going to... He's going to whiff his torpedoes. Uh, and again, good on the on the independence for... For doing that. And uh, his di the independence, his dive bombers come around. And here in a couple seconds, our, our um, independence... Or, excuse me, our Nuremberg is going to be out. And... Um, or somebody takes care for the Nuremberg. I'm not sure which. And I think it was I think it was the carrier. Yeah. So what? Do we, so during all that, we lost two of our battleships. So we've got a War Spite and me left versus an Independence and a New York. At this point, I'm feeling like we could pull this off. Uh, the War Spite is trundling north. And finally, I get a enemy aircraft shot down. Finally. Uh, Independence is going to be getting those dive bombers back up. And at this time, right now, I'm wishing I had a little bit of smoke and uh, that, that I could use. And at this point, you know, nothing else to shoot at. I'm spotted anyway. Let's put some rounds out on that New York. Get around the hit, you know, the, get around this island. And, ah, good. There's the enemy Independence. He's been burning merrily. He just got his fire out. I got two shots out two more. Come on. Just need one little hit. 25 health. 24 th more than you need, but yep, not enough. Alright. Uh, and he fires. And you know what? I, do not get sh I did not get shots like that in my New York against destroyers. And here come the dive bomber, so, uh, you know, let's if I'd had it, I would have popped smoke at that time. And he hits me, and he sets me on fire. Sliver of health. All I can do is get a couple of last shots out, and there we go. That and, and it wasn't even an aimed attack. It was an auto attack. But with that... Well... That might... That probably was the game-winning shot. Uh, either the... Uh, the the hit the New York put on me, or what, uh, or the dive bombers uh, did did with uh, uh, either one separately. Uh, you know, I'd still be alive. I'd still be shooting at this New York, um, but as it is, I'm out of the game now. 
we have a war spite sailing north. And the war spite is tier higher. Good guns. But what's he doing? He's just, you know, sailing north. And he's going to get some hits on that New York. And he's taken, uh, you know, about a quarter of the New York's remaining health off. Uh, so the New York is, you know, he... he if, if the if the war spike can get a citadel or a couple citadels, he's going to do it. But look how the, the New York is angled, and look how the war spike is angled. The New York is at a very good angle for fighting an enemy battleship. Um... And you can see I come in on the uh, on the chat and look at the war spider suit. He's actually opening the range up. Uh, he should be swinging his front end around towards the New York. And, and again, this is my opinion. You know, so take it for what it's worth. But he should swing that New York, his front end around towards the New York. And yeah, I'm just a, a uh, little glitch on my part uh, when I was watching this. Instead of trying to keep all his guns pointed that way. And the New York is just... I'm not sure what he's doing. Or, I mean, sorry, the uh, War Spite. I'm not sure what he's doing. Now, he gets into the cap circle. Which was, you know, deathly important at this point. Because, uh, you know, there's three and a half minutes to go. And this stops the enemy, enemy points from accumulating. So, okay. So, at this point, go ahead and swing the uh you know swing the front end around slow down angle towards him you'll be the only one gaining the cap gaining the points at that point that's going to force the new york to come back to you and look at him he's he's got he got a um uh uh a citadel and he actually had the new york down to about three or four thousand health at one point but the new york i think might be firing he and if he is he's uh it, it was absolutely the right choice because he's setting the war spite on fire and the war spite is going to burn is going to be burning down slowly whereas the war spite's fire is just ineffectual and if you, if you look on the chat wraith's uh, advice there is actually right for both the new york and for the war spite but more importantly look what the war spite's doing he's driving out the edge of the cap stay on the cap okay and that's what i told him and um, if he drives out of the cap, that's it. And I'm sitting here just watching in disbelief as he does it. And there he goes. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there was a lot of wowing in the chat. Uh, I mean, I came in and said wow. And... Um, uh, you know, another friendly came in and said, wow. And I, and one of the enemies came in and said, wow. But he drives out of the cap, and at this point, there's only a minute and a half, uh, or about two minutes left in the game. And we're not going to pick up, we're, we're going to, they're going to start collecting their cap points again for, uh, for the A. Um, and that's it, really. Uh, there, there's just nothing else that, uh, that we can do at this point. And, and uh, unfortunately, I didn't get screenshots of my uh, of of the you know of the in, uh, yeah of the post game stats because at that point I I just had to get up and walk away uh, from the computer for a minute. It, it's like I it's like I say a lot. You know, one of the best play things about playing games like World of Warships, World of Tanks, and War Thunder, and other things like that, any MMO basically, is that you know the opportunity to play with other players. But the worst thing about playing an MMO is you have to play with the other players and th these are one of the other players that just make you want to tear your tear your hair out and and palm your face off because I, I, again i don't know what he was doing i don't know what is I, I, I don't know if it's tunnel vision or what but he just wasn't paying attention to what was going on around him he wasn't thinking um and you know it's premium ship, so maybe he's a he's a inexperienced player, just doesn't know what you know, doesn't know the ins and outs. I don't know. What I do know is, is the instant he drove out of that cap, that's it. We lost the game. And this was my first, like I said, this was my first game of the Farragut. And 172 hits, three in caps, two citadels, a torpedo hit, um, six enemy ships sunk. 
Uh, let's see, base defense, six fires, a base capture, one plane shot down. So I think I need to upgrade the AA, but, um, and of course the Kraken Unleashed. So, well, anyway, um, with that, I think that's it. So I had a, you know, like I said, I had a fair good game. And uh, uh, unfortunately, you know, kind of got, you know, kind of got a little RNG'd over and, uh, at the end there, and I mean, I don't want to blame blame the loss on uh, you know on our worst bite driver here, but uh, I think he certainly could have done a lot more to uh, to not lose the game uh, or yeah. Anyway, so well with that, I guess that's it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will uh, I will talk to you later. Bye.